welcome to my channel my name is candace aka picasso baby and today i'm going to be showing you how to create a, a tropical drink on the beach so before we get started make sure you like comment and subscribe so that you don't miss the next painting tutorial so today I decided that I'm going to show you a tropical drink on the beach because it's really nice outside, it's sunny, but two things that I'm missing is the beach and a tropical drink all because of quarantine. Guess what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus! But no worries, I'm going to show you how you can create your own so that you always have one to look at. So a few things you want to get before we get started. You need your paint. I'm working with acrylic paint. You want to also make sure you have an apron or just something to cover your clothes, maybe even an old t-shirt to paint in. You want to also make sure you have a water cup with different size brushes and then some napkins or paper towel to dry your brushes off on. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by simply showing you the background. So for my background, I started with my biggest brush and I've just created a few yellow lines to divide my sky from my water from my skin from my sand. So for the sand, I just did a bit of an angle line and then for the sky and the water, I just pulled a line straight across to divide them. So I want to start with my water first. Um, I want to get my water in there because I want that to be the darkest part. So I'm picking up blue on my brush and I'm also picking up a little bit of white and I'm filling in this middle section that I created. So as you're filling in this middle section, again, keep in mind, you want to keep it. It doesn't have to be super dark, but you want to make sure that it's not too much of a light blue because you are going to be creating the lighter blue in the sky. So you just want to get this entire section filled in and I'm just moving my brush back and forth across, barely picking it up so that it blends out really nicely. What I'm going to even do is add a little bit of yellow to my brush just to get more of like an aqua kind of color in there more water like you could even add a little bit of red to your brush if you wanted to get like more of a purple inside of your water you just want to make sure that you're making it so that you can tell the difference between the water and the sky and once you finish up with that part you don't even have to worry about washing your brush because what you're going to do is you're going to keep using those colors, but now you're going to switch to a lot of white. So this time I'm picking up a really good amount of white. I'm making sure to bring it right down to my water. And again, I'm still moving my brush back and forth across, barely picking it up. That way it blends my colors out really nicely. And if you feel like it's starting to blend in with your water, remember you can just always pick up more white. And if you need to even wash your brush off to get some of that blue out of there, you definitely can. So... Now that I have that part done, all I'm going to do is continue using this brush and I want to add in my sand and for the sand, I want to wash my brush out first. I'm going to be picking up white, brown and a little bit of yellow or you can even mix them on your plate because you want to create more of like a tan color. And same thing that you did with the water in the sky, you want to make sure you bring the sand right next to the water. and then just fill it completely in. And 
and it's okay so like um i said it's okay for you to either pick it up and just put it on the canvas or mix it right on your plate if you just add the colors to your brush it'll give it a little more detail because some areas might be darker some areas will be lighter and it'll make it look a little more um sand like beach like so i'm going to make sure that i'm smoothing that all the way out and before i um, move on to the next step what i want to make sure i do with my sand and my water i want to take the edge of my brush and a little bit of white and blue and along that line where the sand and the water meet i want to kind of tap my brush down to kind of create like a wave coming towards the sand so you know how like the water kind of crashes on the sand i want to create that look so all i'm doing is tapping down a little bit of white a little bit of blue along that water sand line So once you finish that part, all you want to do is give it about five to 10 minutes to dry. Or if you're impatient, you can just grab a blow dryer. And then once it's dry, we're going to move on to the next step. A few moments later. Now that my painting is dry, um, I, the next thing I want to do is I want to add on my drink glass. So you can absolutely make whatever kind of drink glass you want. It's completely up to you. Again, I'm going for more of like a tropical drink. So I'm going to use a round, medium-sized brush and a little bit of white paint. And I'm going to mark off about where the bottom of my glass is going to sit. So not the foot of the glass, but like the bottom area of the glass. And from there, I'm going to create a bit of a U. So I'm making like a u shape right here and then i want mine to be taller so i'm going to pull my sides in and this isn't going to be your permanent outline of the glass we're going to go over this line so don't worry if you don't get it perfect or you can even do this part with like a piece of chalk. It's completely up to you. But once you have your drink where you want it, now I'm going to add the foot of the glass and then the opening of the glass. For the opening, I'm going to do a curved line across to close it. And then I'm going to do a line across here as well so that you can see the opening of my glass. For the bottom, I'm going to pull down two lines. And then I'm going to make kind of like a little circle or oval for the foot of my glass. One thing I'm also going to do with the foot of my glass, I want to make it seem like it's actually sitting on the beach and in the sand. So I'm going to add a little bit of brown in my brush. I'm not going to wash the white off. I'm just going to add a little bit of brown. And I'm going to make a little bit of a shadow under there. And I'm just following the curve of the foot of my glass to create that shadow. You can even create one on the side here. But you do want to make sure you make one at the foot of the glass. Now, once you have that part, now it's time to decide what color your drink is going to be. I want more of a tropical drink. So I'm going to blend down a gradient of colors. So I'm going to start with yellow on the top. So I'm adding some yellow to my brush and I'm also mixing white with it. I want my drink to be about here. So I'm gonna mix down some yellow and white. It's looking great already. Not drinkable yet, but it's looking good. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of red to that yellow and white because I wanna create more of like an orange. So remember, I'm taking it down into some different colors and my colors are getting darker as I go further down. And then again, I'm not washing my brush. I'm going to add more red to my brush because I want the last color to be red. It's looking great, looking great. 
Now, if your paint is a little transparent, you can always do another layer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give this a few minutes to dry so that I can go over it again. So I went over my um, drink with another layer just so that it would stand out a little more. One thing that I'm also gonna do, and I'm gonna wash my brush before I do this part, I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow and a good amount of white on my brush and right at the top, I'm just gonna create like a little bit of fizz up there by just simply tapping my brush across the top, kind of the same way we did with um, the waves coming against the sand. Just tapping it right across. Doesn't have to be perfect. You just wanna tap it right across. Now, while I'm letting that part dry, I'm gonna go ahead and get a smaller brush, or if that was your smallest brush, you just wanna make sure you wash it out. Because what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna start to add some different details. So I wanna actually, um, I wanna add more details to my water, um, a little more details to my sky. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take a little bit of black and I wanna add some little birds. So I'm curving a line over and over, kind of like some really wide M's or really wide McDonald arches. And you can make them as big or as small as you want. And you can put them wherever you want to see them at. Or if you don't want birds, you definitely can skip that part. Um, you might not want the birds coming to get your tropical drink. So you can skip that part if you don't want it. What I'm going to also do, I want to kind of make my water and my sky stand out from each other a little more. So I'm gonna add some waves in my water. So especially at that top area, I'm taking a little bit of white on my brush and just doing some wavy lines. So that it stands out from each other, even though they're already a lighter and a darker blue, I just want it to stand out a little more. And you don't have to just put waves at the top. You can put them wherever you want to see them. I'm going to even add some blue to my brush so that the darker blue is right on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to add some more waves in. And again, you don't have to stay at the top with the waves. You can add these waves wherever you want to see them at. So now that I have that one there, what I want to go ahead and start to add in is I want to add in some decorations to my drink. It's party time! So for my drink decorations, I'm going to be going back to my medium brush. Um, if you want to continue using the smallest brush, you definitely can. But what I want to do is I want to add on an orange slice and I also want to add on an umbrella. So for my orange slice... I'm going to mix up red and yellow, and you can even add a little bit of white in there. And I am just going to, so I'm going to start at the inside rim there and curve over to the outside of the cup. And then I'm going to fill all of that in. In the same way we went over with the second layer on the drink, once that dries, you can always go over it with another layer. What I'm going to also add in is I want to add in a little umbrella. So I'm going to mix up some white and brown. And I want it to be lighter than the sand, so I'm mixing a good amount of white and brown. And wherever you want your umbrella to be, you just want to create a little curve over. And then I'm creating the little lines for my umbrella. And if it overlaps your orange, that is completely fine. Don't worry. And I'm just going to fill that in. And again, same thing. If you want to add a second layer of these colors, 
you will be able to do that. And the last thing I'm going to add before I um, add the second layer, I'm going to wash my brush off, get a little bit of white paint, and I'm going to add a little bit, a little straw. So I want my straw to curve over, and then I'm going to pull it down into the drink. And you don't have to go over your drink. I mean, your drinking straw with another layer. If you want to, you can, but it's not really necessary. So now I'm going to go back to the orange. And again, I'm going to go back over it with another layer. Just so that it stands out some more. And then I'm going to go back into that lighter tan color for my umbrella. And I'm going to add some more of that one there too. Now we are gonna add some details to these decorations. So while those little things are drying, what we're gonna do is finish up the actual glass. So if you like the white outline, you can definitely go back to the white outline and just re-outline everything. If you don't like the white outline, um, you can do what I'm gonna do. I am going to use some black and I'm just gonna begin to outline my glass. Now, some of the white is still going to show. That's completely fine. But I'm getting the majority of it covered up with this black outline. Even the foot of my glass, I'm going to go back into there. And just simply and if you want to add like any extra details down by your glass area down here on the beach you definitely can like if you wanted to add a seashell um, if you wanted to add like a piece of fruit so for example just to show you an example I'm gonna add some little cherries hanging out down here since this drink is pretty tropical I'm going to put two cherries down here and I'm just taking some red and I'm going to darken one of them by picking up red and black. And because they're laying on the ground area, the sand, same thing I did where I did a shadow underneath there. I'm going to do a little shadow underneath the cherries as well. And once you have that part on there, we're going to go back in and we're going to finish up the details in the glass um, and then some details on the cherries. All right. So now it's time for the details on the small parts, which is our little decoration and on the cherries. So again, I'm going back to that smallest brush. And first, I want to do my details on my orange. So I'm going to take some white. And wherever you mix your orange up at, add some white to, to it so that it gets a lot lighter, like a really light peach. And all I'm going to do there, or with that color, is I'm going to go around the orange. And then I'm going to also add slices to it. So I want to cut it into little slices so that it's like... A actual orange slice now 
Now, once you have that part, this time I'm going to go into like a darker brown. So I'm still using the little brush, but you want to wash it off. And you want to mix up brown and a little bit of black. Or you can actually just use black on its own. It's completely up to you. But I want to outline my umbrella and make it stand out more. So I'm just outlining the edges of my umbrella. I'm going to add a little dot right at the top in the center so that it looks more like an umbrella. And then I'm also going to pull those little lines down that divide the umbrella. So that it stands out more. And then I'm going to keep using this same color to create some detail for my cherries too. So I want to just put them on a little stem so I'm just pulling a line from one and then connecting it to the other you can even take a little bit of that color and like do a very small outline around the cherries so that they stand out more and the last thing I'm going to do to the cherries is I'm going to make a little white mark on both of them just to give them a little detail and I'm going to do the same thing to my drink I'm going to give it some little white marks so that it's like the reflection of the glass and once you are done with that and you have all of your details how you want them your drink is looking as tropical as you want it all you want to do is sign your name so I'm going to put my initials right in the corner. You can sign your name however you like it. So here is your finished product, your very own tropical beach drink. You can let this dry for the rest of the day. Um, you can go ahead and find a place to hang it or whatever you want to do with it. If you want to go ahead and make a tropical drink now to actually drink, you can do that as well. Um, but just remember that you can find all of the supplies for this painting or any painting like this at any arts and crafts store. Or if you would like a pre-made kit, head over to paintpartydet.com and we have kits available for you. Thanks for painting with me and I'll see you in the next tutorial.